so printing um, you're going to need two rollers you're going to need a clean roller and a dirty roller okay as in one's going to stay clean and one's going to get dirty not that they should start that way um, these come in if you do buy them individually at about seven pounds each you can get wider ones which are obviously more expensive but depending on the size you're working on i would use a wider one for something this size because i'm only working on a small scale i'm just going to use a short one so clear your desk of any little bits of lino that you may have because if not they'll get caught up in the ink um, and you'll get yourself in a pickle you'll end up with sticky bits all over your work so you can choose what you want to print onto you can print onto basically any surface but the smoother it is the better the finish but you can get some really nice effects so i have just i've printed out a background green spotty it's actually left over from another project that i did earlier um, i've got some sheet music um, i'm constantly buying things like sheet music or um, books of patterned papers that you can work on um, and this is um, a corner of an old map um, that i have sorry maps over here um, a corner of an old map so i just said quite nice to print onto that uh, so you're going to need two rollers and you're going to need printing ink you can try and make do with paint um, but it dries very very quickly and printing it stays sticky for a bit longer and just gives you a nice finish so it is kind of in wor worth investing in printing ink it will come in a tube you can get oil based and you can get water based i prefer water based but that's just because oil based is just a mare to try and clean um, as with oil paints it's just awful to try and get off so i tend to use water based but obviously that's a personal preference thing and you're going to need a piece of plastic or perspex or something smooth that you can roll the ink onto because you don't want too much ink. So you can get really complicated. Um, I do have a sheet of perspex that I normally use, but that's just because I've, I've always had it, so that's what I normally do. But um, for today, to prove to you that it's not that hard, this is just, oh sorry, it's a piece of my artwork. This is just a piece of plastic that some card came in, you know, that kind of quite thick plastic. Um, and I've, I'm going to use that just to prove to you you can, okay? And I, all I've done, I've put the white paper in just so you can see, because there was actually black card in it and you wouldn't really be able to see what I was doing otherwise. So I put white card in it just to show you. You can use a piece of laminated paper. That works just as well. Um, you can't use a plastic bag because they slide about too much and you don't get a smooth finish. You do need that smooth finish. So I'm going to show you very quickly today how to print using your lino cut. So you remember I did this one a little bit earlier just going to slide you down so I would suggest you have a dirty working area and a clean working area so but rather than keep moving the camera around I'm going to move my dirty working area if that makes sense okay so I've kept half of my plastic clear um, and half of my plastic has my um, my ink on it and that's because this is going to be my working area as such so this is going to be my dirty roller and all you want to do is pick up this is your reservoir of ink you're going to pick up just a little bit and yeah see this is going to move around a bit until you've got a nice smooth surface so ideally you will have i'm going to flip it around because it's driving me nuts there we go, that stops it from sliding around too much. And all you're doing is making a nice even coating of ink so that you don't have big lumps of it, which will get caught in the holes. Okay, and then you're going to go across to here and you're just going to ink up your print block. And you need to make sure, actually I just realised it looks like my cat's got a wing. So, once you've got a nice smooth coating of ink all over it, tip them upside down they've always got a little rest so rest that there move this to one side and you're going to place face down onto your chosen material that you're printing on you're then going to use your clean roller okay so always keep your dirty roller and your clean roller separate this is my clean roller and I am going to I have known some people who have actually written clean and dirty on them and they always, whenever they do it, use their clean roller for clean and their dirty for dirty because otherwise, and in the classroom, it can get a little bit pickly when um, the learners are all sharing and they forget which one's clean and which one's dirty and you end up with ink all over the back of the block. So, 
give it a good roll make sure you get right into those corners because those sneaky corners are the ones that quite often won't print because they just haven't had as much pressure and then you can remove and your design has been printed okay so this is where I've cut away and can you see while I've cut it away some bits are still picked up so it's quite nice and my P is now a P instead of a Q okay so I want to show you with one of my more complicated ones so you can see it still works okay so let's move that to one side now these you can just wash under the sink and use again and again and again and that's what's the wonderful thing about lino printing so I'm just re-inking up my roller if I start to run out of ink I just pick up a little bit more from my reservoir and then just keep moving it around so that I've got that nice smooth finish and then I'm going to roll onto my print block um, I might want to turn it to make sure I've covered all sections. And I'm going to print onto the sheet music now. So I'm going to, normally I would move to my clean area, but I'm just moving my dirty area out of the way. And I'm going to place that on there. Using my clean roller, I'm going to press down, swing it around. I say these great for greetings cards um, and what you can do actually is if you take a black and white photograph you can simplify it into blocks and then you can print faces so you could actually have a family portrait that you've cut out and you can put onto cards and stuff which is quite nice and depending on the background you choose so if you choose a back Christmassy background uh, paper that you think you're printing onto then it could be a Christmas card choose a, an Easter background it could be an Easter card and it's just the same print block that you're using over and over again and then I'm just going to peel it off and I've got my my print there so um, that is how to print with your lino block okay um, I will see you tomorrow where we are recycling and uh, upcycling